The newest Russian medium-haul aircraft, the MC-21, may receive a version with a fuselage shortened by one section in addition to the base model. This was announced by First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mantorov in an interview with Vedomosti at the Eastern Economic Forum. According to him, this will allow airlines to operate the aircraft more efficiently, given the resulting weight characteristics, while maintaining the initial range parameters when loaded with 140 to 150 people. The MC-21 is positioned as a competitor to the most popular families of aircraft, the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. Currently, the only domestic analogs in airline fleets are the TU-204 and 214, developed in the second half of the 1980s. The base version of the new aircraft is the MC-21-310. It can carry up to 211 passengers, with a maximum flight range of 5,100 kilometers. Altitude Attic speculates that Denis Manturov may be referring to the MC-21-200 version. The known specification for this version is a typical seating of 132 to 165 passengers in a two-class configuration and a maximum seating of 181 passengers in a single-class configuration. The proposed shortened version would be a new variant of the MC-21, designed to offer airlines more flexibility in their operations. By reducing the fuselage length, the aircraft could be more efficient on shorter routes, potentially leading to lower operating costs. This version may kill the SSJ-100 project, and I will explain why. In June 2024, Aeroflot decided to modify its agreement with the United Aircraft Corporation and refused to purchase SJ-100 aircraft, an import-substituted version of the Superjet 100, in favor of the MS-21. This was announced by the head of the Ministry of Industry and Trade, Anton Alikhanov, who noted that the department understands the choice of the air carrier. According to the agreement signed in 2022 between Aeroflot and PJSC United Aircraft Corporation, 339 aircraft should be built and delivered to the airline by 2030. 210 medium-haul MS-21 and 40 T2214, as well as 89 regional SJ-100. However, in June, Aeroflot CEO Sergei Alexandrovsky reported that the carrier's management was discussing a transformation of the document. According to the changes in the order, it was proposed to leave only 339 MS-21, both in the basic version and in the short version, which will be developed. We understand their motivation because the MS-21 basically covers most of the needs. We will work with them, but it is too early to talk about any decision, the minister said at Inoprom 2024. Another reason is that PD-14 for the MS-21 series is ready, and PD-8 is yet to be ready and is known to be facing problems. Now, do you think the SSJ-100 project has been a troubled child of Russian aviation and the MC-21 range clearly caters to the regional, national, and long-range needs of Russian aviation? Let us know in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please also subscribe to our memberships to encourage us.